now we wait patiently to see what the crazy raccoons can do with this. They've been given a little bit of room to work towards the side, but it's all being watched. Zelf is towards one, Effie's with another. This is looking lovely stuff. Just enough room to keep them cornered in, and 4 B. HP is not much to play with, and V1 with a great start could come through. So the only threat's really going to be short and heaven. Zephyr happy to take this fight. Spots out one. No real problems just yet. They just buy for the time. Neff going to be trying to sit this one out. And yeah, it looks like V1 are trying to weigh up their options. Any damage to be done could be fantastic here if they can cost them those rifles. They can maybe build from this short piece. There was a second where Jammies could have maybe converted. And there it is. Zelsis and Penny out of nowhere. Double down. Zelsis finds another. And Effie's find some fantastic work now the time's not going to be there but the damage is done now can they get the rifles away in time that's a big question you can see medusa waiting and at least punish effies there we go keeps that one away but one version one of players on site you can see up above zephyr needed that to land that could have been a huge claim on towards it and now here comes the reaggress off the back of the flash medusa though does find zelsis penny on the trade out medusa still on the side trying to play it safe but penny is causing problems and a huge work from v1 playing back in from heaven Hypok has just vanished on me. He's left me alone. It's fine. Who needs friends anyway? But I've got a damn good game in Munchkin. Look, this was the guy that I was highlighting at the start to be one to potentially watch. It does at least find one on Zelsis, but an quick kill on the way. But no, the spike's already on the site, so there should be a post plant. Unless anything can disrupt it. I don't think anything can. And V1, first time we get to really see a fully fledged retake coming through Zephyr. Already going to start this one out. Going to spot the play coming back on through the penny. Way too quick. Just absolutely eviscerates Zephyr. Now gonna look for more. He keeps going. Penny is on a tear right now. He knows where the next wow. target's gonna be. And he's unstoppable in this. Penny with an incredible playback through. He's got teammates beside him. Side. Let's see what he does here. He's got support. Penny's already found Medusa. This, again, as soon as there's contact, I love the fact the V1 swing. They never, they, there's, there's no baiting. There's no just, oh, you take Last the fight. There's always thing. another layer. There's always that next face coming out. This is just brilliant. Lack of that control that's going to be garnered by Zephyr. Coming through market. Going to be a bit of a surprise. And tag's not enough. That's going to encourage the swing from Jammies, who's going to stay alive. But this one swings out again. Catch me even more. Jammies with great work here. Biding time and bringing this back to maybe... Manageable situation was at least Munchkin finding Penny there. Kind of surprising. But Munchkin now ult out. Needs to kind of find place for this. Does want to clear the back of Boathouse. But decides to go for it himself. Might just send that through towards CT. Spike does need to be planted. Ten seconds it goes left. down. Now 2v3. No Penny on the retake. But still Zelsis, Effies and Vanity still have utility yeah. too as they're finding out. Nothing feels safe here. Zelsis already going to lead the way in. Effies holding that swing as well. And there it is. Just down to Munchkin. 1v2 required. We'll take a little bit of damage on that. The tag comes in. Incy deals with Zelsis. Maybe there's still some hope here. Munchkin on the reload though. Has to dip around. Bite the time. Trying to play it on the clock. He gets the tag. Not the frag. Dips back in. And Munchkin. Just try and dodge bullets. Going full Neo mode here. He's not. Unchecked but. That's going to be a huge pick. Yeah. Zephyr gets it for free. Tries to dip back around. Effie's punishes from short. But by now there's a trade out. That deep hold from short we were talking about is going to be hard to clear, and it was. Medusa going to play towards hell, and there's no way out of this. Suddenly, the crazy raccoons have worked it out. Yeah, that was a fun... HP, yeah. A couple of the other players are pretty low on the other side. Vanity and Zels is going to take a little bit of a hit off the back of that, but by now already, the spike's down again. Well, Jammies will find Medusa actually trying to, I guess, reset from that. How much can gotta get away from this spot, but he will That's do. We'll so find nasty. a headshot as well. Effie's with the shock dart also. Yeah, but this is still game on. Neff, what can you do with this? No! Just darted across from short. May have been able to get in there in time, but caught in the end by vanity, pulling off this play back in. But I've got to say it. Munchkin is just snappy, dude. That guy holding through clear the utility. But that's going to allow Penny a nice little grab towards Neth. That's going to be a big pickup on the way in. Spike is down, but the post plants are nowhere near as safe. They do not have short control. Now they do. Ryan does well. Zelsis needs to clear this. The flash is good. And so is the frag to follow. And now they get the play towards the site. They do now. A man advantage for them. Zelsis also ultimate available. He's actually going to pop that, come through, try and clear through. And he actually will find Zephyr behind Jen. Zeus is still on the site though. Sitting pretty. Does have ult around as well. Opts to not use it, just the gunner is side. 
Munchkin trying to play the time, trying to not give it away. Medusa's gonna reset here. I love this. I love the long play around here. Yeah, there's the ult gonna be popped. There's nothing they can do on this. They have to try and push it. He's even predicting it. Medusa knows what's up, sends one just in in time, and they do clear it, but not in time for V1. Ready gonna take a little bit of space back in. Vanity trying to play this just right. Does get caught by that though. Damage now done and position now noted. You have to clear this position. It could be such a problem playing towards that retake. But actually Medusa with a great little pickup. They need more trades coming back One in and forth. This could be just down to Effie's in the 1v3. Trying to get the timing right. Oh, no, not going to happen. This is dangerous. this much. Yeah, V1's about to slice right between left. them here. Medusa more focused towards the site itself. Turns around now. The timing's everything. Oh, the nice timing's burst. Perfect. That's so well done by V1. Just completely isolates the player. Now it's the rep towards the site. Zephyr, desperate for connection, does find it on Zelsis. But quickly, what? Wait, what? Vanity? Vanity died there. There is no way. What has just happened? Effies oh, is now in a no. 1v4, and I have no idea how this has gone wrong. I was so expectant of V1 to convert off the back of that lovely pinch, but this is all gone to nothing. Crazy Raccoons just... After the reset of his ultimate, might actually get caught out here for sure, and he will... So much pressure. So much pressure on just one man. That is a rifle recovered, I guess, and if they could then maybe pin a little bit more pressure towards Vanity, that would be impressive, but... I want to see what they try and do with this. Crazy Raccoons are really, really hammering this one in, but it's going to be that final push towards the site that's going to be tough against the rifles. Vanity's still going to be a problem to get past as well. They're going to try and at least put some utility down to dissuade the vision, but as it stands, as soon as that drops, he's going to have full sight on all of them who just suddenly start pouring back through. There he is. Actually plays through it and gives himself up for the trade. It's a 3v3. Time going to be to dwindle. No way. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not like this. Penny, Jammies, please. What is going on here? Keep it clean. There we go. Jammies just says, chill out, boys. No more of this nonsense. We're keeping this clean. Can we keep these rifles up? Absolutely, we can keep one. That's what's see what the crazy raccoons look like when they're going to be forced. Oh, no. Oh, no. Again, that just that paint shell could have given them so much time to get this retake started nice and early. Up to Fury now in response. Again, Effie's knows that they're going to be re-entering back through heaven. Again, very late in the day here. Crazy Raccoon's got to move quick and find some kills fast if they want to get this going. I don't think they've got time on this. I think B1 knows it as well. The Crazy Raccoon's going to drop down. Neth going to give himself up for the trade. Yeah, Penny's just making light work for Medusa does well, but by now this is wrapped up. Medusa just gonna have to get out with the rifle himself. A lovely sight take from V1. Very well handled and, and no opportunity for that oh. play back in. Oh, excuse me. You're gonna have two players here. Munchkin's gonna be one of them. Couldn't quite convert it. Effie's out, does him. Just gonna barrel on through. And now there's problems. Ryan, though, this flank could be huge. The timing, no. Effie's punishes again. Ryan could have done some real damage. You see Zephyr just chomping at the bit, trying to get involved in this one. Spike now down. Jammy's play back in on short is perfectly timed, almost going, well, you did this to us, so we're going to do it to you. You like that late kind of short play coming out? Yeah, feels bad, doesn't it? And now what does, what does, what do the last two players do? Neth and Zephyr, I mean, they can try and find something, but just swinging off the back of contact here should at least give them the round. There's the trade, and now you've got the numbers. Unless Zephyr does something unthinkable. Oh, he's been caught in the heels, spam <laughs> down Effie. But I, there's going to be utility to check on this. Well, you say that. Here we go. There it is. That's going to be two big kills. That's massive impact. That does set up for a potential chance of some more damage. Neth waiting patiently, just hoping that maybe a lapse in judgment gives him the chance to get some damage done. But Jammy's on the other side. Going to just kind of keep that idea that they're coming this way, building in the back of their minds. And there it is. Again, more utility being thrown in. But Neth yet to be checked on. Boombot comes out. Again, nothing wild just yet. But you're going to see a little bit of a second of consideration from V1 now, backing away from this. You're going to drift towards shore, which is where Zephyr's actually posted up with a shorty right now. Rion a little further behind <laughs> him with the sheriff now. I like it. Mm. 30 seconds. Let's go. One's good. Two spinners. Oh Zephyr. My word. Impeccable work out of nowhere. And this is going to rock V1. They are not loving this at all. These rifles have now just been absolutely ripped from them. And a massive round for the Crazy Raccoons. Look at that. What on earth did they just pull?
There we go, there's the first big investment in here. We go, everyone's flying in. Now you can see Munchkin just spinning around. What? Wow, Malphite, that's three in a row. These guys just popped off on the retake. In the space of a second, they destroy so many, but Jammies is still doing damage. Even the turret finds Munchkin, but the spike now going toyed with Jammies doesn't check on short punishment for that. Nephys can't get what in on it. retake. Huge retake. In market. On the back of that. He won that seat. He'll leave all the so way towards here, Shurion. No. They line up for him. He's so good in this position as well. He's been such a nuisance playing this spot constantly. And be able to get two there again? This time with a rifle at least, but Zelsis is going to deal with Munchkin, so they know there's another. But Zeph is still waiting for the next fall through as they do come towards the site. You can hear the shot go off. Didn't find target. Has to fall away to a deeper seconds. angle. No. Sticks around and gets punished for that. Jammy's not going to let him get away with it. And now a 3v3 spike is going down. Can't be denied. Now let's look at these post plants. You're gonna have one tuck towards hell, one towards May. Actually, you know, two in hell. Okay. You should run. Well, that's a yeah. Jammy's gonna invest the the lockdown as well. That's gonna run <gasps> the clock down in no. favor of actually the Zelsis gets a lot of pressure here, but I have to respect it for the time being. Zelsis, can he find that second? Not gonna get detained just yet, but Zelsis still able to run the clock down. Finds the third on the round now, just out to net. Yeah, Ness not gonna wait around and Zelsis just over. You're dead! They're gonna come through. Try and brute force their way on actually Zelsis and Penny will lead the charge. Let's get in deal with the first. Zelsis will find one and two. that runs down now. The damage That's is done great. though. Comes through a 3v3. Great work from Munchkin. Yeah, his ability to stay alive even just a couple seconds longer, get that second kill, is brilliant from him. Zelsis though gonna can try. And build a little control towards short, divide it his own way. Now Vanity gonna watch as one dash is on through, but Zelsis finds Neth and already yep. we're down to the two. This is gonna be Zephyr having to be put under pressure and this is not exactly ideal. Yeah, having to find it, no, Effie's big denial, good trade though. That's huge work, but it doesn't equate to much as the conversion in the end. Pressure of short this time around, Effie's the Hunter's Fury from deep gonna find the kill to open things up. And Rion gone, this isolates him so badly. Yeah, you can see it just instantly makes it all fall to pieces and Zelsis has been a constant thorn in the side and Munchkin can try as he might he needs to truly dig deep on this one does at least bail out towards Penny but now look at what they're left with Neth and Munchkin Munchkin 13 HP Neth though good work quick okay. pick up towards Vanity and Munchkin's hurt this <gasps> but he can't get the frag Jammies out does him and now Neth with it all to do in the 1v2 gonna leap on down actually gets a free start towards Effies this could be big but the time being bought here Neth knows he's up against it, just <laughs> trying to find the first. This is just cruelty, but no, punished in the end. And Neth now has to get rid of Jammies. Jammies is so low. Look at Jammies him. is super low HP. The turret ain't going to do anything at this point. You've got to deal with it. Oh, my word, Neth. Impeccable work. Saves the day. And we go again. Yep. What a round. I thought that'd be substantially more than that. Zelsis in a little bit of bother here. Munchkin's going to make it worse towards Penny. That's going to be the first pick up this round. And they're gonna peel from this. They're backing. This 20 seconds. This is dicey to say. Wait, the who's least. on short? Who is on short right now? It's Neth with utility. Oh no, Neth's gonna buy the time. This could be a huge disaster if he just oh. buys the time. Vanity does get Ten past him. Left. Munchkin on the side just wants to try and deny the spike. Bomb, but no, Effie's no running way. through him. Is this how it goes down, really? A 2v3 post plant now. And you got Medusa and Zeph up against Jammy, Zelsis, and Effie's. This is a fight for OT for the Crazy Raccoons or the victory on map one for V1. And Zephyr flashed up, forced to back away, scared of maybe some pressure coming off the back of it, but no, Medusa now. Opens up the way through on short. Just trying to build on in. First fight comes in, gets it. Effie's now down. Zelsis looking a little dicey on the side, but he does manage to deliver towards Zephyr, and now the 1v2 feels almost impossible. Medusa doing everything he can to try and find a way forward. Gets down Zelsis! He needs the 1v1, and Jammies is low again! Surely not this time. He's going to get it to no halfway. Way. No, 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 no. Jammy's peek it. Jammy's peek it. Oh, and he does it. Time. Jam I love utility being used with intention. I, I think it's a great look for this. And it does mean that V1 have to clear a little bit more meticulously. But Penny connects out of nowhere. Munchkin just lost his head. This is the second try to play. Zelsis pinches perfectly as Zephyr tries to back away. Medusa will respond, but kind of isolated inside the nest here. And Vanity there to greet him on the way out of that smoke. That's now the last one on site, but Spike down we'll find Effies. V1 got to hit the brakes on this for the time being as Jammies, like I said, in that role, able to lurk through mid here, find a huge gap on the back of that rotation coming through. Going to catch the audio cue also on Rion rotating. Enemy we'll enemy. find the kill as well. 
Damn. Feels a little rough. And now Neff, so strong, they've got such good positioning. Neff gonna have to just hope for a freebie through the smoke, maybe. Vanity denies four in this round, so why not try and do something a little out of the box? Stack towards B-Long, didn't work out this time. V1 are gonna be in on the site. See if they can keep it clean. Looks like it so far. Rion gonna find one, but that's about it. And I say, say, but you can see Vanity still trying to sell this concept. Now, Neth does punish that, so we're already going to be back down to this 4v4, but look at the progress that Penny has made. Zephyr's already over here, though, but it is just one player. That spike plant could come in now. Audio queue going to be made, so they know that there's now problems on the other front. That's going to be Zelsis sent forward to plant. There's Munchkin. We'll find Penny, actually. 30 seconds Sorry, left. Thread the needle all the way from behind Boiler. Zelsis gets his ultimate online, so potentially come through and deal with some of this early presence here and Jammy's going to get himself up into a position where he can play the post pass. Delsis finds the first. Delsis really good for that one. You can see Medusa pushing up for this one. They have to try and disrupt that Viper in these post plants. We know it by now. We've been telling this story the entire time and Jammy's has gone down. This opens up the chance. Great work from Medusa and Neff there to keep an arm's length and Effie's trying to do everything he can to deny the spike diffuser now back on it. Can Effie's deny it? I don't think he can. No time on it. Munchkin keeping him safe and the perfect... If He's got no idea. Oh, he's got no idea. Neff is absolutely none the wiser. Caught with the pants down. This is a beautiful split already. V1 are now behind ah. enemy lines, and they're just pinned in. Munchkin's going to try and re-aggress, which I don't mind, but they've left Vanity posted up to catch this rotation. Lovely yeah. work. V1 have just done a clinic on this round already. I love this, but now the three remaining. Can they put together the last picture of the pieces? No. Mid has been infiltrated. There's no way back in for it. Just fantastic work from version Y. Again... To smoke off the turret there and double push towards Neth. Neth has no idea whatsoever that they've got all the way deep into kitchen. Effectively getting all of this control so deep and uh, and for free, basically. Do so by the consolation. Potentially a second here again, just looking to do a little damage. Make it costly for version one. Okay, yeah. See if he gets anything out of that. Zeltis. Ooh, Zelsis gets a big punish for that pretty brazen fight. Now Penny's going to be the next on the chopping block, potentially, and look at them, falling like no flies. Way. How is this getting turned? These are the rounds that somehow the crazy raccoons make look so deadly. Munchkin sends it, doesn't quite find Vanity, but as the smoke dissipates, he's left standing, no bullets left to play with. And now Effie's called upon to try and deal with the sudden mess that's coming out of nowhere. No spike plant to be worked with. He knows where Munchkin is. Can he clear it for free? 23 HP makes it much more uh, comfortable to work with. And there it is, Effie's clears. Now, Rion yep. was noted earlier, but he could have easily yep. moved by this point. He could have repositioned down to 45 HP, though. Still only a Sheriff in hand. He's not been able to upgrade it. Effie's cut. Red Bull clutch, you might say. And Munchkin wanting a bit of that himself, but yeah, just baited up by the utility. Out of nowhere, V1 find two big entries, and look at the pace in which Vanity's going to take the spa space. Oh. <laughs> Medusa just on the other side, like, yes. Yes, I will sit here. This is perfectly fine. Now, the spike is on towards the site, and now Zephyr can't see that. You've got all the utility kind of keeping him somewhat safe, and the spam's going to at least deny the spike plant for now. I had to Fury popped. A couple of warning shots sent out, at least to zone off version 1 for the time being. But meanwhile, Zel Zelsis has actually slipped up inside tube here. He's going to get himself into a really good position. Apply some pressure to the back line of Crazy Raccoons here. Let's see, Neth completely unaware. He was trying to spot mid now. Damage comes through onto Snowman. Zephyr will fall. Zelsis spotted the oh, second one as no well. Look way. at that. Digs Neth out. Medusa trades it, but the damage is already done. That's impeccable. Just hitting the brakes for a second to allow him to work. Medusa needs to go full clutch on this one. 30 HP. Still some utility to work with, but pretty tricky to dig these players out of these positions. Jammy's on the swing, yeah. Not even gonna... The brutal. They are just flying through this site. Yeah, they're, they're giving so much. Crazy Raccoons are almost giving up way too much of their space. So yeah, they can play for the retake, but you're playing that against a Viper, like a good Viper. It's something that I said about V1 that I liked through their qualification route is how well they played with that Viper in the post plants. Especially with Effies as well on the Sova too. Like, it's it's super deadly. And that even that's before you even address the fact you've got, like, Penny out here. you got Zelsis. This this should be just a back away and keep those guns. Zephyr wants to keep that op up. Medusa's not going to get anything done. Maybe cost them a rifle or two, but by this point, the money's pretty flush, I imagine. Yeah. So it's really just trying to keep that 
up in play for Zephyr, but they're going to hunt him down. They've got players to spare. Yeah, Zelsis happy to claim it. Vanity will lose life, but they can reinvest. For that break. Okay, Zelsis is going to lead the way, take so much space. Look at this push. He's just going to take so much room. Here's everything. No one's there to stop it. Oh, no. Zelsis has done him dirty. Great work on Neth. And that's Sight Control Garnet. That's enough for a spike plant. Munchkin's going to try and play back in at this point. Pretty good timing on it, too. Ult comes in, does deliver. Great work there from Munchkin. Still plenty of ults available if they want them. Penny, they're going to play the edge of that smoke. Gets out by Medusa. The smoke criminal just coming on through. Does not care for a second. And a 3v2. No post plan for jammies to thrive in either. Uh, Rap is a bit invested. Let's try and get regain some control of default at least. The yeah, Aldron comes through, clear some of these angles. As <laughs> Rion's there to greet him. Left. As Jammies tries to slip in behind it. Vanity now last man standing and a 1v3 operator in hand. 20 seconds left. Yep, yeah, just wants to deny the operator. I get something done, but again, wants to run this down as long as possible. Rion will pick it up. Crazy raccoons. <laughs> that I get behind it in this, but the burst through middle is going to make it worse as well. That's going to slice them right down and going to isolate the player, which is going to be Zephyr probably if they pour through towards B. Yeah, and they're right in amongst them. Even if they just considered one up being here, they're going to try and play through middle and just keep it looking so neutered, not working on the extremity. Zephyr... They're not even going to open up the plant for him. He can do nothing. He feels just like a chocolate yeah. teapot at this point. Absolutely useless. And yeah, this is done for V1. Absolutely outplaying them. Whether or not they read that just one op would be in play, but let alone two, they just absolutely dominated it. And now these two have to instantly go to a save. Yeah, and uh, this is such a huge investment to lose. This purchase, especially this round deficit. Again, I'm, I'm all for switching things up, but right here, V1... I don't even want to say have a good read here. It's just the stars align and the way they approach this round. Zephyr does actually catch Jammies on the second peak. They come through, try and shut this down. It's Panic. A huge loss actually for him. It's yeah. Munchkin hopefully can hold on to this one. Like I said, uh, uh, financially. Here. There's a first net with a nice snap towards Penny. Good start for them. And Munchkin can back away now. They've got that first pick. Can lean back a little bit with this man advantage. Munchkin actually goes exploring. It's going to be the spike that he finds on the back of Vanity. Ubot goes through. Going to give us some more information. There's another player to deal with. And Neth will find Effies as he swings around the other side. Lockdown invested now. Looking to try and close. The 2v4, it, it can be done. But it takes a couple of mistakes to be made. Left. And very hard to define that without problems being had. Zephyr is a little alone, but does have ult. Jammy's going to work in with the spike now. Player standing. Already Zephyr's found Zelsis and he's going to want to find some more here. This is going to be horrible for Jammy's. He's got so many problems in front of him. <laughs> and he chooses Medusa to be the one to put him to... So approach, but actually, XZV1 going to take immediate control here. Jammy's and Zelsis actually swing out fine one. But meanwhile, Munchkin has actually slipped all the way through. Might catch Effie's inside the Aldrone. Plans the first shot. Luckily, closes out. There's a second there. Effie's was going to recover that. Now Penny, gonna run a nice little bait there. Vanity gonna counter peek off of that. Now version one, have a man advantage. Spike planted on A though. That's a Vanity dipping a little ahead of the beat there. Zelsis the timing. There, this is gonna be scary. Zelsis needs to be able to keep himself alive. And he does, that's too no. big point. Now Spike's <laughs> gonna go down. And it is four players in the post plant. Now, of course, it's a little different. Yes, they have Killjoy in this. Yes, they've got uh, Medusa as well on the server, so maybe it's still going to be a bit of a problem, but V1 on the play back in. Zelta's going to lead the way, unafraid, going to be the first one forward, try to be as bold as he can, get as far as he can, gets a tag on Medusa, but the kills ain't coming in clean. Vanity desperate for this to work. He does get it, but he loses his life for it. Neth there on the trade. And now Munchkin and Neth have to make this work in a 2v3. Now Spike yet to be toyed with. Oh, oh and Neth out of nowhere. Finds a huge pickup. Wait, no. Epis is on What it. is going on? Epis is on the spike. He's still going to get one now. He's got to know where Neth is. He just got the kills on his teammates. Epis off the spike. He wants the kill. He can't get it in time. Forced to fight. Falls back to the spike. And I don't know if he's got the time on this, but we're going to find out he does. Our version one back onto site now. 12 seconds left. The plant going to come through. Epis sets up with a shock dart, but Munchkin there ready to punish him on that lineup. I like that from Munchkin. Just trying to use the space that he garnered earlier after that pick towards Jammies. Now Penny wants back in though. Sent to motion by the Omen. Lovely work there. Good combination. But good trade out for Zephyr. They're not letting these un 
tradable kills come in at all. They're all going to have an answer for him. Vanity and Zelsis feeling a little left to rot out here. Yeah, Real's already found Zelsis and Vanity can try as he might, but so many players to try and deal with. They're all just spamming away. They know where he's at. Tries to thread the needle. Not going to happen. And the crazy raccoon here. Everyone's sitting a little pretty. Bit of light armor here and there, but it's not the end of the world. Investment of the ult as well. Jammy's going to commit to this side and Zelsis helps him out while he's here. Trying to clear him out of this one. That's a good idea. Jammy's going to be forced away. A touch is Munchkin going to try and take the space um, towards sight. Jammy's? What? Jammy's? They're, 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 they're everywhere. Um, but Zelsis still going to fill the gap. Apparently it's fine. Rion's now in trouble. Yeah, this is... The weirdest shutdown. Munchkin's gonna have to go super clutch in this one. Sprays away, doesn't quite find Jam. Munchkin, hold on. Effie's on the other side of this, and Munchkin waiting for that time. Yeah, gets it so good. Munchkin is. He's a nasty player, man. Munchkin is someone yeah. to watch. I don't care how the result goes at the end of the day. This guy is, is solid. He used to back away, though. So Zelsis. Definitely caught a glimpse of him now. He's just so slippery. And time and time again, he's, he's able to. Look at him. Look at him. Get in here and here. Re aggressing once again. We'll find Vanity. Penny now with it all to do from behind Let's yellow. Go, we'll Penny. line up the first. Nearly actually connects two. That's going to look to double dip. Oh, this could be huge for Penny. I want to see what he does with he this one now. On the way out. But he's going to see that they backed away. This is big information they can relay. Now, Munchkin's the problem, though. He can catch every one of these rotations. Him just piercing through middle was a massive play for Penny. Looking more like Kenny in this one. Spots out another pixel out of the place. He could have done with that, but he'll take it for now by just staying alive. Jammy's in the right. Deuce actually has Hunter's Fury, but he's stuck on site for the time being. No real opportunity for him to reset. Get off. Yeah. This is where this has to come down to oh. Neff, and he's going to double down on a huge pickup there. Finds two, and he's going to need more. Now Zelsis can put the wall up if he wants, and he does. But it doesn't stop the bullets, but he's going to sit it towards halfway. He's not stopping. This is a full defuse. He's not getting off the spike. No he's way. He's not getting off the spike. No way. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Zelsis. Be denied. Spike does go down regardless. Zephyr, in the meantime, did catch Zelsis. So that's going to be a player advantage, at least in this post plant. Yeah, and actually, I think Effie's got two tags with the Hunter's Fury. That's the two players, very low HP. And actually, Zephyr once again runs out of the kill. Manatee falls, and now Munchkin comes through with a judge trying to do some more damage. Pile on the pressure. Jammies will find one, but Rion in a position. You have Zelsis here. Both have ults. Celsius may be able to use his if he wants to try and dissuade yes. mm. a little more, but Punchkin finds Vanity so easy. It felt like they lost track of him a little there. Zelsis the can't, can't do anything. The paint shell on point as well. It's come through as a man advantage for Crazy Raccoons here in the post plant. Not an awful lot of utility, but like I said, the Hunter's Fury is still a couple of shock darts sent out. I'm trying to fish out Munchkin, I imagine, knowing that he's down to 36 HP, but the, the double peak as the smoke drop is perfect. Lockdown in response here. V1 still trying to force the issue. For white, though, for blind. Medusa's gone down. Zelsa needs to make the most of this. Tries to clear out as best he can. He couldn't quite get it, and it's still going to be going through. It finally gets destroyed. Now Penny up with Zelsis in a 1v2. Neff needs to clutch out this time. Backs away. And now Neff double dips. Tries to keep them off the spike. Has to check that time. No full defuses going down here. And it will be another on the board for the crazy. Believable. And uh, I'll be honest, things shaping up very similar to what we saw on Ascent. Crazy Raccoons actually building a lot of momentum. Once again, Medusa. Good flash. Going to clear out Util. Give away a little bit of the game. Doesn't quite get away without... Actually crossing that's a lot and penny again no by Zephyr. That's gonna be all off. And there's Zelsis just kicking into gear all off the back of Penny with a perfect pick to begin it. And now we're down to two. Medusa and Rion have to clutch out again. A 2v5. Alt invested. Everything being poured onto them now. You can see the push coming out from Penny as well. On the back, just flanking this through. They are being boxed in, closed in. There ain't nowhere to go now. We both have now creep it up. Was Vanity low HP behind yellow? If they can isolate this, they might have an opportunity to turn the tides on this round. Jammies. Jiggle peek in the edge. Vanity potentially going to get backstabbed, and he does. He's left wide open here with Vanity drifting away from yellow. But look who's waiting. Vanity. Say hello to his little no friend. Way. That's going to be one. The second evades, but now a 1v3. Still looking rough. But Rion wants the fight. They're just on the other side of that smoke. All three players are here. Rion, how much can you do? Nothing.